Welcome to Ogle's channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about a cheese or easily defeat Rom the Vacuous Spider in Bloodborne. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of this fight, so let's go ahead and talk about how to get it over pretty quickly. Now, as soon as you drop into the boss arena, in the first stage, once you defeat all the spiders, they don't come back in the first stage. So I recommend, while it's pretty easily, go ahead and take out all of these spiders just to make the uh, battle a little bit easier for you. So go ahead and bait the spiders out, defeat them all, and then you're left with just you and Rom. At that point, if you want to uh, take a beast pellet and, you know, just swap over to just a hand-to-hand -hand combat and really just sort of knock the beast meter up in order to get your uh, attack as high as possible, then swap over to your main weapon and then slice away, you can get a lot of help done pretty quickly. But it's not going to make a huge difference unless your character is pretty far upgraded or if you're in, like, New Game Plus or things like that. If you're just doing a pretty base run of a low-level character, I recommend just go ahead and take the slices away and not worry too much about the beast pellet but you can if you want and of course once his health is around like halfway at that point he's going to disappear and reappear with all kinds of more spiders around him and he also has some brand new powers that he can use with um, basically calling them like meteorite rocks and things like that at this point i don't recommend attacking the little spiders anymore because they'll just come back when he disappears and reappears so what I recommend is just simply run up to his side, the side of the least amount of spiders on it, and then just simply slice away at his side on there for maybe two or three slices and then run away. If you stay too long, he'll do some sort of move and attack you or the spiders get around you and attack you. So I just recommend two or three slices and run away. Then turn around, look at him, see which side has the least amount of spiders on it, run up, do two or three more little attacks, and then run away. As long as you run away, the only attack you really need to watch out for is when he sort of leans up toward his front and he'll call some meteorites down from the sky. And when he does this, just simply run directly to the left, directly to the right, and you'll avoid every single one of the meteorites that's coming down. Then look at him, which side has the least amount of spiders, run up there, take a few slices, run away. Once again, stay too long on one side, he'll attack you, call meteorites up from the ground, do all kinds of stuff, don't get greedy. One or two slices, run away. And by doing this strategy, the battle will take a little while, but it's a guaranteed victory. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Bloodborne cheese and strategy videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.